welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Louie and today I'm going to go over some alignment DIY that you can do if you are running high tie rods. A lot of times we go to an alignment shop, off-road, 4x4 shops and for me personally I've run into some issues with them not doing it properly. Um, so it does take a special shop to know exactly what they're doing to align these types of uh, off-road applications. So what I'm going to show today is basically going to be a way for you to do your own alignment moving forward, but only, only after you have already got an alignment. So. If you haven't gotten an alignment yet, um, this is what you need to do first prior to you actually taking the measurements and doing what I'm going to show you, okay? So in order to do this alignment, you are going to need a tape. That tape is going to hold the measuring tape in place, a paint marker, and a drill bit. Um, this part right here, what I'm going to show, is kind of optional, but it is a good um, way to really ensure that you know you have a reference point moving forward, and it's going to make much more sense later once I do it and credit to Urban Ops Off-Road for that suggestion. You will also need a Sharpie or a marker. So before we get started, you need to make sure that you jack up the vehicle um, and remove the tires, which is gonna make this process much more easier it is an option, you don't need to do it, although it is a lot tighter when you're trying to do it without the tires off. So if you have the tires off, it's much better. Tires on, a lot tighter. All right, as you see, I've already set up the jack stands and I'm about to take off the tire. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to measure the length of this um, heim. Okay, basically somewhere in between this is where I'm going to mark it. So measuring about, I'm measuring one and looks like about one it's over one quarter and two here's one quarter and then two hairs. That's what I'm measuring, okay? So somewhere in between that, I'm gonna have to find one quarter. And two hairs. So I have to do the math. And that's where I'm gonna mark it. All right, so what I'm doing now is, after doing some quick math, um, not the best math person, um, but anyway, I came up and did it by the hash mark, so it's like, in an inch, it's like 16, right? 16 hash marks. Um, I ended up at one inch 
and three quarters. So that is equivalent to 28 hash marks. I divided that by two, so I came up with 14 hash marks. So what I'm gonna do now is that's just two hash marks over the three quarters. So what I'm gonna do now is measure that and I'm gonna make a mark. This is a precise measuring. There it is. All right, perfect. Just gotta kind of follow that down there. There it is. It's a little dark, but I can see it. I know how it looks like. I'm gonna try to make it as small as possible. There it is. All right, so that's right down the middle. All right, so that's the first step. Okay, next step, I'm gonna go ahead and measure this board, which is right before three quarters, right before three quarters of an inch. So that's 11 16th. So I have to divide 11, which would mean five. 5.5 so it's gonna be between the fifth hash mark right so that would be a quarter and then 5 16th so 5.5 so somewhere in between there that's where I'm gonna mark it as best as I could on the middle of this book little bit right down the middle so there we go now I'm gonna go ahead and measure from there to that tiny dot I made earlier okay so that was kind of a struggle trying to really line that up but I lined it up and then I taped it and so now Go ahead and stretch that out. And what do you know, my friends? What do you see there? That is exactly almost at 15 inches. I'm just going to go ahead and say that it is 15 inches. Um, so my next step is I'm going to go ahead and tap that area as a point of reference. And then I'm going to paint uh, all over it with a yellow marker uh, paint thingamajig. And hopefully... That's it. That's the measurement on the driver's side. All right guys, so I just got done putting the yellow marker and paint over there. And then what I did is I just uh, made a dimple there. Um, you don't have to go too big. Um, it doesn't have to be deep or anything like that. Um, just a point of reference moving forward um, 
and then kind of just uh, use that as your reference point. But if you need to remeasure again in the future, you can always do this. Um, if you're unsure or somehow this ends up getting scraped off and you can't find a point of reference, but I don't think anything is going to hit that or I'm going to end up crashing that part of the truck whenever I'm off-roading. So I think it's a good measure and it's as precise as I can get and now I'm going to do the other side. All right, so I went ahead and taped this, um, and I went ahead and measured it at 15 and an eighth, 15 and an eighth, as you see right there. I did the same exact thing this last time over in the other side on uh, the passenger side um, so the difference is this one is an eighth um, but I've taken both measurements now so 15 on that side exactly and then here it's 15 and an eighth of an inch so there we go and as I mentioned earlier just painted this and kind of just made a little dimple right there and that is going to be my marker moving forward so that's it guys um thanks for watching and i hope this helps please don't forget to like comment and subscribe talk to you all soon